He's currently buried in the city of Madain in Al Iraq. Jabir ibn Abdullah, he says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kana yu'allimuna, he used to teach us Salatul Istikhara, the way he would teach us the Quran. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, in this, some of our ulama have said, therefore, Salatul Istikhara should not be recited in a language other than Arabi. And therefore, although it is permissible for a person to make dua in any language, that the nas of this hadith was taught to the Sahaba with precision. If they were to change one word in its order, the Prophet would correct them. Why do you get this? Because Jabir ibn Abdullah is telling you that the Prophet ﷺ taught them this dua the way with the same precision he would teach them the Quran. You know how you teach your young brother, your young sister, your young children the Qulhu Allahu Ahad when they're growing up and then they make a mistake. What do you do? You stop them. You say, La, go back, fix it. This is how you say it. This is what Jabir wants you to get in your mind before he shares with you this hadith of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. So the Prophet would teach them this hadith with its precision, wanting them to learn it, to say it, to pronounce it. And I've recreated the hadith for you in Arabi, in transliteration, and in the English meaning of it. And we're going to study every word of the hadith as we continue, insha'Allah. He then said, 